um, myself as a child uh, learning. I, I didn't really know what, what was uh, involved. Wish, wish that I had. I wish there's a lot of questions I would like to ask him about his past and his thoughts. So we're, we're lucky to have these photos basically chronicling his, his life before he became ill. And it's, uh, it's nice to kind of speculate as to what he thought about some of these things and what, he, what part he played in these activities. After um, he was buried, we, we went back to the house and we'd found several boxes that had film cans, metal film cans. So I opened a couple of them up and I looked at them and I thought, oh, this is probably throw it out. It's an old film, unexposed, whatever. And I pulled one of them out and held it up to the light and I saw oh, there's some, some pictures still on there. And then there was some uh, black and white and some slides and so forth. So then we started looking and found <laughs> there was, I think, I think it was close to 5,000 pictures we counted up. Since we know that he took them all himself, they would have been there for him to refer to in his mind, and, and I would have hoped that he would have had access to them. So I would say he probably had more than just an amateur's interest in me, but perhaps not all the way to professional, but he certainly seemed to enjoy trying different shots and different techniques and stuff.